Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing my new acrylic set and I'm going to start off by using a cuticle pusher just to push back my cuticles. It's really important to make sure that you're pushing back your cuticles before starting because it prevents lifting. Okay, and next I'm grabbing my Melody Susie nail drill and I'm just going to be filing all of my nails just to remove its natural shine. I'm not actually filing anything. Also, it's really important that you're actually filing like close to your cuticle and the edges of the nail. Because if not, then that can also cause lifting if you forget to do those areas. So just make sure that you're like really trying to remove all of the shine. Okay, and next I'm just going to be grabbing my clear stiletto nail tips and taking out all the little bags and just taking one out to see which one fits my nail. And it's important that you make sure that it fits from sidewall to sidewall because if it's a little bit small then it's just going to look awkward. Um, but remember that if it's a little bit too big then that's definitely fine. You can always just file the edges, it's better to go for the bigger one than the small one. And next, I'm just grabbing my KDS glue and applying that to the tip of the nail and gluing it onto my thumb. And then I'm just going to finish off by doing it to the rest of the nails. And make sure that it is straight. Do not let your nail look crooked because trust me, it's going to look so weird. Especially if you're the type of person to just stare at your nails all the time. Whenever I do my own nails and one of them is crooked, I'm always just staring at it and it bothers me so much. So trust me, make sure it's straight. Okay, and once you're done with that, you're just going to be grabbing your nail trimmers, clippers, whatever you have. And just trimming down the nails to the length that you want. And I'm actually going to be doing them pretty short today. So I'm just going to cut them all down until I'm happy with the length. Okay, and next I'm just going out 
my OPI nail file and just gonna file the sides a little bit and make sure that the like tip is actually like straight because sometimes with the nail trimmers it'll come out a little bit crooked so I'm just gonna be filing that to make sure it's straight and it helps a lot if you like coffin shape when you use the like stiletto tips just because it already has like a more narrow like shape I guess so it's definitely a lot easier for me because I just have to file a little bit so it does save you a lot of filing and I definitely recommend these Okay, and next I'm just going in with my nail drill and I'm just going to be blending the nail tip with my natural nail a little bit just so that everything looks smoother. And before we start applying the acrylic, you have to make sure to dehydrate and prime. So first I'm going in with the Me Secret Nail Dehydrator. And I'm just going to be applying that to the natural nail. So just on the nail bed area, not on the nail tip. Okay, and next I'm going in with my Mia Secret Nail Primer, and I'm also just going to be applying that to the nail bed area. And try your best not to get it like on the, like on your skin, because this one and the um, dehydrator stings a little bit. And next, I'm going to be grabbing my Mia Secret Cover Rose Powder. And this is an acrylic powder. I've been getting questions if I use dip powder or acrylic powder. I only use acrylic powder. I've never really tried to use dip powder. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. And then I'm also going to be grabbing my Monover. I got this one from a nail shop that's near my area and the Mia Secret acrylic brush. Okay, and then I already started applying acrylic and I did some of it off camera, but now I'm gonna be showing you how I apply it. I just do small beads at a time. I'm not quite at that step where I could just do one bead and you know, I can't really control it yet. So I just like to do smaller beads. Usually I do the two bead method or sometimes I'll do like three beads. Just depends on how it's going. But this is where I'm at so far. And I did do most of it off camera just because it was kind of hard to film it and do it at the same time. So this is what they look like after just applying the acrylic. I still have to do the other hand and then I'll show you what else I do.
And next I'm going in with my Melody Susie nail drill and I'm just going to be filing all of the nails, making sure that it's smooth, there's no lumps of acrylic or anything. And then I didn't finish my other hand as you can see, but I'm just showing you what I do when I am finished. And then for the cuticle area, I changed the nail bit, so I'm using a like thinner one. And it really helps to like clean around the cuticle area if you do happen to get any acrylic on there or something. Um, I really do recommend this nail drill. I got it off Amazon, and it comes with like I think like four other bits, and they're all really useful. And then I'm going in with the nail buffer just to buff all of the nails, make sure that it's smooth. That way when you're applying the polish, it doesn't look clumpy or it doesn't have any weird bits on it. Okay, and then from my D&D &D base and top duo, I'm going to be using the base gel first, applying one coat to each nail, and then putting it under the gel lamp and curing it for about 45 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to be grabbing a thin little brush and the D&D &D Duo in the color Lemon Juice. I'm going to be using the gel one today to do a thin little design and that's what it looks like and I'm going to be curing it for 45 to 60 seconds. So I just applied one coat of the top coat to each nail and cured it for 60 seconds. Okay, and I'm done. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok. Feel free to comment anything down below that you want me to do next. And thank you for watching.